Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And yesterday, a user reached out saying, Hey, how do you measure height in Tinkercad? I've got some steps, so let's get cracking. So, friends, of course, first things we need to do is get into Tinkercad. I'm going to open one of my old designs and we'll measure it. I'll be able to show you all the skills and you'll get to see one of my favorite beginner lessons real quickly. Real quickly, friends, this is the Unicorn Dude. I love this tutorial because it gets you started really fast because it shows you how to use the work plane as you design, which can be a total game changer. And there's a lot of room for you to customize this. But today's question was, how do we measure height? So first, if you have any shape if you click these boxes you get the length and width if you can find the one up top that gives you the height that's the first way to measure height of a single object it does work for a group of objects notice if we click here you've got a measurement of 78.2 from the bottom right here to this top I'm going to show you another way as well though and we're going to also use that work plane just to show how important it can be so I want to put a pyramid on top of this I am going to select them and align them once again just showing you cool skills so you understand how they work if I do middle middle those line up if you look at it from a corner it makes it more visually clear what it's talking about remember also if you click on one of the shapes you make it what I call the master so now this would be the top middle and bottom if I chose to align the pyramid there I am done with that part though and now it's time to do the other style of measuring we are going to put the work plane on the front of this shape because we want to be able to measure up. I'm going to bring out the ruler. I'm going to click on that cube and I'm going to hit F for fit view, which is also this button right here. As we orbit around, which is a right click drag, or you can use the view cube to drag. I'm going to put this corner right down here on the corner of my shape. Friends, just like that, we've got our 20 by 20, which is your height. And then if you click on a second shape, it shows you it is 20 plus 20. So we are measuring height using the built-in ruler in Tinkercad. All right, friends, let me just show you a few things. Right here, you can also switch by clicking here to use the midpoint or the end point, just so you know. And then this is the dismiss button, so you can get rid of it. And then when you're done with the work plane, you can press the letter W or click the work plane and click on the blue edge to cancel it out. And there you have it. That is how you measure the height in Tinkercad. Friends, I will make sure the Unicorn Dude lesson is in the card. And I want to send a quick shout out. Thank you so much for asking the question. I'm hoping this totally helps you with your projects. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.